Hey artists, it's Mrs. Elseri. In this video, we are going to be talking a little bit about a technique called scraffito, which means to scratch into something. So your supplies needed today are going to be two pieces of small paper or one piece of large paper, a set of rainbow crayons. I don't have crayons, so I just use my pastels. If you have any oil pastels, it this project works really well with them, so you're welcome to use them like I am. Um, and a pencil. So we're gonna try something a little bit different today. You need either one big piece of paper or two small because you're actually using two pieces of paper for this work of art. So if you have a big piece, what you're gonna need to do, when I say big, I mean like full notebook size if you're using composition paper or if it's printer paper, um, then that's considered a big piece of paper for this lesson. So if you have anything smaller than printer paper, I would use two of those. If you don't, I'm going to show you what to do. You're first gonna fold your large piece of paper in half, and if you don't have large paper, you don't have to do this part. You're gonna cut right on the fold, and how many pieces of paper do you think I'll have after I cut on the fold? Two, okay. So um, the cut doesn't have to be perfect. This is so that you have one piece that you're going to color entirely with crayons. We're gonna work hard today. The other piece we're going to put on top and you're going to do a drawing of fish and pencil. And what's going to happen is you're going to pull off your finished drawing and the fish should be in rainbow when you flip it over. It's a transfer technique. So it's kind of scraffito, but it's also kind of a print that you're making. We're combining some things. And you probably don't really, won't really understand until you watch me. So first thing I'm gonna do, I have my supplies with me. I've got my two pieces of paper that are pretty small. Um, if you wanna do big, you ha will have a lot of work to do. So cut that big paper in half. Set your other piece next to you. And I am actually just gonna start with yellow. I'm gonna start at the bottom. And I'm gonna color, 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 color. And I'm gonna color really fast. I'm going to color using more pressure than I normally would. Not so far that you break your crayon, uh, but try not to leave white space. So we're not scribbling. We're doing our best to go fast, but at the same time, paying attention to cover up the paper. And you're just gonna do a, a band of colors. When I say a band, I mean like this rectangle that goes across. You're gonna do it with every color in the rainbow. So I'm going to color about that much. It's like the size of a small bookmark. And I need to fit every color of the rainbow, so I don't want too much yellow, just a little strip of color. Make sure that I color hard so that I can scratch off a little bit with my finger now. That's the right amount of pressure. If you push really light, this project won't work. Um, so next color in the rainbow would be orange. I'm actually going to overlap a little bit because you're gonna get some some really nice yellow orange just by combining those two colors. Again, pushing hard. Coloring all the way up and down as straight as possible so it makes this rectangle or band of color. Something like that and if I make it a little bit too too thick, then that's actually a good thing because now the color next would be red, right? So I'm going to take my red crayon and you'll notice a pattern. We're going in rainbow order starting at yellow. If you're not sure what rainbow order is, then that's okay. You don't have to do rainbow order. It will still work. I just like it because it keeps me organized for this project as long as you're using rainbow colors um next color is purple right
This is going faster than I thought it would, which makes me happy. That means I have more time to work on my fish because we have such a short amount of time together. I'm hoping we can actually get this done while we're meeting today. Okay, so I've got purple. Wow, it's looking pretty. Um, I need blue and green. So I left just enough room, I think. Blue goes next, put a little bit on the purple. You'll make blurple, blue violet. And if you need to peel your crayon as you go, you probably will need to make a little pile of your garbage. Don't throw that on the carpet, put that in the trash when we're done. See, I got that nice blurple in there. And I kind of, because I'm going all the way to the edge, sometimes I should probably go slower and hold my edge down. Go back and make sure that there's no white, so push a little harder. <clears throat> okay, next would be, what color is next in the rainbow? There you go, green. So maybe close to the edges, go a little slower, just because they like to creep up on us. Oh, I really love that blue-green that I made. And so like I said, if you have trouble with rainbow order while you're working and you can't remember what color order I did, um, as long as you're using the six main colors in the rainbow, which are yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green, there's six main colors, um, then you just have to color a rectangle of each. Just make sure you leave no white. That's really, really important. Even if you don't overlap them, you have to keep them right next to each other. Okay. So this is my, I'm going to make this, um, it's not a background, but I'm going to call it my background paper because what's going to happen is now I'm ready to put my other piece on top. And I can either hold it this way or I can hold it tall. So that's why I had you cut a large piece of paper in half or use two small pieces the same size. Because now the magic is gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna draw some fish. Um, fish are easy, they're fun. They come in so many different shapes and colors. And you can pretty much always get by with like a long skinny oval for a fish, like a football. So I'm just gonna make a little simple underwater scene. It doesn't have to be really detailed. Just make sure that we can tell that they're fish. My pencil is sharp, so before you do this part, if you would like to sharpen your pencil and keep your sharpenings near your little garbage pile, because you're also gonna push down harder than usual. I'm gonna come back and add some patterns. Line designs are good for this project because everywhere you put your pencil down, when we lift it off at the very end, don't do it yet, it's so exciting, but you're gonna see that every little mark you make should pick up the color of the oil pastel. And it's not supposed to do it yet, it's when we flip it over. So other kinds of fish, you could do like tropical fish, like an angel fish. Angel fish have fancy wings, almost. They're not wings, they look like wings. They're fins, right? They just glide through the water. Some fish have really large eyes. I do a circle and then another circle in the middle. And they have like, their little um, fins are so skinny and fragile and their tails can be separated by lines. So really take your time, draw at least, I say at least six fish um, because all this blank space, you really want to fill it up. Now I'm going to do... So try to make each fish a little bit different. You can make them different sizes to give variety in your art. And 
add a pattern to each of them. Some spots or stripes. This is your underwater picture. I'm gonna make a long one. With spiky fins. And the tail, I just think about a triangle. Give him the eye. How about one more? I have one, two, three, four, five. I can fit a few more in. Yeah, looks like a trigger fish. Okay, so there's mine. Now I'm gonna go back and add um, some patterns, maybe a few little waves. Because once you see the magic, when we flip this over, you're gonna be so excited. I'm not sure how many of these one rainbow background will get, but you can try it. You might be able to put a fresh piece of white paper on top and be able to get a second magic, magic picture out of it. Okay, so this is my finished work of art. Let's check it out. Wow, what do you think? Very cool. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks, guys.